it's Clyde here. I just wanted to take a second and show you guys how to do some soldering. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not a world champion solderer, but a uh, a uh, experienced one that uh, I've done a couple jobs and uh, I've come out pretty successful. And I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So first thing I've got, I've got my RGB snowflakes here. Uh, these are just dumb nodes. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a connection from here to one of my waterproof four-core pigtails. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, uh, my wire here. I'm going to strip it just a little bit. There we go. That's a little longer than I like. Let's trim that down a little bit. And let's grab our little hands here. And let's tear them apart, separate the wires so that I can tin them. I've got my little soldering iron over here. Let's zoom in, see if I can't get nice and close so that you all can see this. Just so, incidentally, so you know, this is this is a, a very inexpensive soldering iron I bought off of MCM Electronics. It's a Tenma, uh, 30 watt, nothing fancy. And I'm just going to tin the end of it here and get some solder on it. And the reason we tin the end of it is to dissipate the heat. Now I'm going to hold, from underneath, I'm going to hold... Uh, the heat from underneath and I'm going to add the heat the solder from the top of it and it just kind of melts right on doesn't take a lot there we go so there's the tin den now we have our waterproof connector which has the slide on it to connect to the uh, to the end for the female and then I'm going to take my uh, heat shrink tubing and cut a couple small pieces. Um, I don't use a lot of heat shrink because it's not necessary to use like really long pieces. I just make them about that long. And that's that's all for those. And I'll take my uh, I'll take my uh, connectors here or my. Uh, my wires, I'll slide them over first before I solder. So this is always important. Make sure you put your put these on first because once you solder them, they're together and then you have to tear them apart just to put them on. So now we need to know our wire order. Uh, if you look at the RGB node, you, you see that there are, and I'll get, get a little pointer here, you see that there's a chip, a blank spot, another chip, and another chip. This is the red, this is the 12 volt or the common, this is the green, and this is blue. So on my four core wire, I'm going to line them up so that this here is my red and my my black, green and my blue. Now I really hope that you you can see this close hand. These um, these connections have already been soldered. They come pre-soldered from Ray. And I'm just going to come down here and put up underneath and I'm going to touch them together just like that. And then I want to make sure I give a little tug to make sure that there's some tension on there and that they don't come right apart. No. Try that again. See now that would have become a cold solder joint because I pulled on it before it had a chance to solidify. touching one side with the soldering iron and the other side with the with the wire that's being connected pull on it make sure that that's a good connection there we go that's good and solid there now the last bit is obviously to heat shrink you just use a little little torch or a, uh, a lighter. I'll use a little. Uh, I'll use a little lighter, but I'm just going to slide these up over top of the connections for right now. 
Uh, I don't like to melt the heat shrink until I've tested out the RGBs to make sure that they work because there's any number of errors that can, that can occur. So now we'll go over here, we'll zoom out, and we'll go over here and I'll pick one of my uh, connections to my controllers and we'll just plug it in and hopefully we'll have some RGB colors. Here we go and we'll let it cycle through and do the tests. What's happened in, in, uh, in other projects is uh, the, uh, the colors don't seem to, if you solder and you have all the work together and then you, let's say you heat shrink this and then as you test it you notice that the color isn't coming out correctly then you might have some bad nodes in there. Well it'd be helpful to know that before you finish doing all your wiring and let's say you had a bad pigtail. For example I was using a pigtail yesterday and I just twisted the connection and as I did the colors all changed on here um, which told me that there was a problem with it. Um, looks like all the colors are working fine according to the little test pattern that's running on the controller. So I will call this a, uh, a successful uh, test. Next we're going to finish putting these on here by turning on our little lighter and lighting it and letting them melt down and then I just usually use some light electrical tape wrap it up and um, this this is ready now to go out in my display for this year alright I hope you enjoyed the video hope it was helpful this is the simplest thing that uh, to learn and uh, if you're if you're nervous about using a soldering iron it just takes some practice and just need to relax when you do it so good luck out there and take care